Ever had that moment when you walk up to your compost pile, expecting it to be rich, dark and crumbly, only to find a cold, half-rotted heap staring back at you? You toss, you water, you wait, but nothing seems to move. That was me a few months ago. My compost just sat there, stubborn, lifeless, and slow. Then I poured a simple homemade mix over it. Within forty-eight hours, the pile was warm, steaming, and breaking down like magic. What I discovered completely changed how I compost. And today, I'm sharing that exact secret with you. Welcome to Timeless Crops Haven, where we turn everyday gardening into something extraordinary. Let's get real. Composting is nature's recycling system, but it doesn't always move at our pace. The process relies on trillions of tiny microorganisms that feed on your kitchen scraps and yard waste. They transform waste into humus, the rich, dark soil conditioner gardeners call black gold. But here's the catch. Those microbes are picky. They need just the right balance of moisture, oxygen, warmth and nutrients to stay active. When things get too dry, too cold or too carbon heavy, the microbes slow down, or worse, go dormant. That's when you end up staring at the same old banana peels and grass clippings month after month. Even if you're doing everything by the book, turning the pile, layering greens and browns, keeping it damp, it can still take three to six months for compost to fully mature. And in cooler climates, you might wait even longer. So what if there was a way to supercharge those microbes and cut your composting time in half? No store-bought powder. No expensive compost activator. Just three ingredients you already have at home. Active dry yeast, sugar and warm water. That's it. This simple mix works like an instant energy drink for your compost. It wakes up sluggish microbes, heats up your pile and gets everything decomposing faster than you'd believe. Here's the formula I used. The one that transformed my cold, soggy heap into a living, breathing compost engine. The exact recipe is one tablespoon of active dry yeast, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, and four cups of warm water at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, or 38 degrees Celsius. Mix the yeast and sugar into the warm water. Give it a gentle stir and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until it starts to foam. That foam means the yeast is alive and ready to work. Once it's bubbling, pour the entire mixture evenly over your compost pile. If you've got a larger pile, say one cubic yard, this one litre mix is enough for a full treatment. For bigger setups, simply multiply the recipe. Apply the yeast tea every two weeks while your compost is actively decomposing. Here's where the science gets fascinating. Yeast, specifically Saccharomyces cerevisiae, isn't just for baking bread or brewing beer. It's a living microorganism that kickstarts microbial activity on a cellular level. When you add it to compost, the yeast immediately starts feeding on the sugar you mixed in. That sugar acts as its energy source, helping it multiply rapidly. Once active, the yeast releases enzymes and amino acids that serve as food for bacteria and fungi already present in your compost. This creates a microbial explosion, a self-sustaining chain reaction where bacteria thrive the pile heats up and decomposition skyrockets. Within 48 hours, you'll notice the difference. The pile starts to shrink 
The center feels hot to the touch, and in some cases you might even see a little steam rising. That heat is a sign your compost is alive. It's the result of billions of microorganisms working together at full throttle. Once you've jump-started your compost with yeast tea, it's all about keeping those microbes happy. The most common mistake gardeners make is letting the pile dry out or become too compacted. Microbes need oxygen and moisture to survive. Your compost should feel like a wrung-out sponge, not soggy, not dusty dry. Water it lightly whenever it starts to feel too dry. Turn the pile at least once a week to introduce fresh oxygen and keep things evenly mixed. If you want to be precise, use a compost thermometer. Ideal temperatures range between 130 degrees and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the hot zone where decomposition happens fast and pathogens are destroyed. Don't have a thermometer. No problem. Just stick your hand near the center. If it feels warm, you're right on track. Store-bought compost activators often contain these expensive blends of enzymes, nitrogen and minerals. But honestly, most of what they do is just wake up the existing microbes. The same thing your yeast tea does naturally, and for just pennies. Yeast is a real biological powerhouse. Its byproducts like carbon dioxide and organic acids feed and multiply the bacterial population in your pile. Those bacteria generate heat, and that heat attracts thermophilic or heat-loving microbes that break down even the toughest organic matter. We're talking about things like leaves, stems, and twigs that would otherwise take months to rot. It's really an elegant little ecosystem, powered by a kitchen ingredient you probably already have sitting in your pantry. Want to take it even further? Well, try shredding larger materials before tossing them in. Smaller pieces mean more surface area for microbes to work on, and that just speeds everything up. Keep your compost balanced with a healthy mix of greens, like vegetable scraps, coffee grounds and grass clippings, and browns, such as dry leaves, shredded cardboard, or straw. The ideal carbon-to-nitrogen ratio is roughly 30 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. So, if you are composting in colder weather, just cover your pile with a tarp to lock in heat. Combined with yeast tea, this simple step keeps the internal temperature high, even in winter, so decomposition never really stops. And here's one more pro move. Keep two piles going at once. One active, one maturing. That way you're never out of compost. Think of it like meal prepping for your garden. One batch cooking while the other's ready to serve. After applying the yeast tea, the first thing you'll notice is warmth. Within a couple of days, the centre of your compost will heat up noticeably. If you lean close, you might even smell a faint, sweet scent for a short while. That's the yeast working, breaking down sugars and releasing gases as it activates the bacteria inside. Over the next week, the compost starts to reduce in volume as organic materials break down faster. In just a few weeks, what once looked like a pile of scraps begins to transform into rich, earthy compost, dark, crumbly, and ready to feed your plants. What once took three to six months now happens in a fraction of the time. And best of all, it's completely natural. No chemicals, no store-bought boosters, just biology doing what it does best. 
This yeast-powered compost trick isn't just a shortcut, it's a revelation. It's one of those simple overlooked hacks that make you wonder how you ever gardened without it. With just a spoonful of yeast, a bit of sugar, and some warm water, you can turn your compost pile into a living furnace of microbial energy. It's fast, it's natural, and it works. So next time your compost seems lazy or slow, give it a jolt of this homemade yeast tea and watch the transformation happen right before your eyes. Your plants will thank you with stronger growth, richer blooms and healthier soil. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven for more simple, science-backed gardening secrets that truly work. Share this video with a fellow gardener who's still waiting for their compost to break down. They'll thank you for it. Let's grow smarter, faster, and greener together.